Okay. Fail to reject. So your decision would be fail to reject H of zero. In English, we'll deal with interpretation just a bit. It would be I. There's not enough evidence to um, to support the claim that whatever whatever we're talking about. Okay. There's not enough evidence to fail to reject. Right now, we're just. See if we reject or not. Now we should absolutely have the same decision here. If we don't, then something's wrong. So let's go ahead. Let's look at p value. First, raise your hand if you're okay with traditional. Are you okay with that? What we just did. Let's, if you're not raising your hand, I assume we're not. Let's, let's see if we are or not. Yes? No? Good. Okay. That's that's everybody. Now the the p value method works differently. There's no such thing as a critical value when you're dealing with the p value method. What the p-value method does is this. It says you take your test statistic, and that's what you put right here. And you find the area that's associated with that. That's known as a p-value. Now, this is all going to come back to you. Chapter 6 is going to smash you in the face right now. Do you remember how to look up areas associated with z-scores? Do you? On your calculator, you put in uh, normal CDF from 1.18 to 10. Remember doing that? On your table, you look up 1.18. So go ahead and do that now. Look up 1.18. You're looking at z-scores now. Look up 1.18. Say that one more time, Chris. 8810. Did everyone find .8810? Now, here's, here's the big thing. Where, where some of you guys that have not really kind of conquered this yet, even, even up to this date. If you do .8810, look at the board. Is this .8810? You've got to be smarter than your table. What's your table give you? Did it give you the right or the left? It gave you this. This is .8810. Well, how do you find that one? The p-value, therefore, is 0 0.1190. You okay with that? How many people feel okay with finding the p-value? Now, here's what you do with it. You compare now your p-value to your alpha. What's your alpha? What's your alpha? should be on the board. All you got to do is put the right symbol between them. This is your p-value. This is your alpha. Which one's bigger? So do I have this greater than, or do I have this less than? I have greater than. If your p-value is bigger than your alpha, you reject your null, reject h sub, uh, sorry, you, uh, you fail to reject h sub zero. If your p-value is less than alpha, it says it's rare enough to reject it. So what do we do here? Do we reject or do we fail to reject? We're in this case, right? P-value is bigger than alpha. We fail to reject h sub zero. Same exact situation as before, just a different way of looking at it. So which one has a critical value, traditional or p-value? Which one has a p-value? Well, clearly p-value. Uh, in each case, you still have a test statistic though, right? It's, it's just whether you're comparing a test statistic to the critical value, or whether you're finding the area out from your test statistic and comparing it to your alpha. Okay, we get about 30 more seconds here. I want to show you one more and then we'll be done. Firstly, are you dealing with a one-tail, two-tail test? So you would have this shape, but now you'd have two tails. If I'm talking about the 
traditional method. Here's how it would look. Look at the board with me, please. If I talk about traditional method, this is 0 .2, or 0 0.025, and this is 0 0.025, making this negative 1.96 and 1.96. Do you follow me on that? Would you reject or not? You should be able to make that determination right now. Would you reject or not? What's your test statistic? Does it fall in the rejection region? Where is 2.34? It's over here, right? This says 2.34 falls here, you would reject H0. Does that make sense to you? P-value method does something a little bit different. In this case, you have 2.34 here with a negative and 2.34. Notice how my test statistics now go in there and I find my areas. Just watch carefully. I'm going to do the math for you. You all know how to look up negative 2.34 on your, your distribution, right? That's going to give you 0 0.0096. And of course, this is symmetrical. This would also be 0 0.0096. Nine, Are you following me on that? You're looking for the area in the tables. You look up this number, 0 0.0096. You don't have to look it up twice. It's the same exact area. Here's your p-value, though. Your p-value is what you get when you add those two together. You get a little bit of area in both of them. So add them together, you're going to get, uh, let's see, 0 0.0192. And you compare that to 0 0.05. Which one's bigger, the 0 0.0192 or the 0 0.05? So you have this situation. If you have this situation, the p-value is less than or equal to your alpha, you would again reject H0. So two ways of looking at it. You have critical values, compare it. Or you look up the test statistic itself and you get your, your area. How many people feel okay with what we talked about? Good deal.